Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can live stream your Microsoft Teams meeting. So what that means is let's say you're in a Teams meeting and you wanna simultaneously also broadcast out to Twitch, to Facebook, to YouTube, to Twitter, you name your streaming service, I'm gonna show you how you can simultaneously stream to that service. And not only can you stream to one service, you could stream to multiple services at once. So let's say you wanna reach a larger audience, well you could do that by streaming to multiple services. As full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. Are you ready to learn how to expand your audience with live streaming? Well, let's jump on the PC and let me show you how to do it. Here I am on my PC and I am in Microsoft Teams and I am already sharing content. Now I have a few other people who've joined my Teams meeting, but I would like to reach a larger audience on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter. So I wanna also simultaneously present out to these services. Now by default out of the box, I can't actually use Teams to stream to these other services. I'm gonna need to use a third party tool to do this and one of the best tools to be able to stream to other services is OBS or Open Broadcaster software. And so what I what you can do is to get Open Broadcaster software, head over to a website obsproject.com, navigate there, and OBS Studio works across Windows, Mac, and also Linux, and best of all, it's entirely free to download OBS. We are going to use OBS to take our Teams meeting and then stream out to these different streaming services. So go through the installation process if you don't have it already. If you already have it, feel free to launch it. I've already gone ahead and installed OBS, so I'm gonna open it up here. Now, when when you first install OBS, you're gonna see a screen that looks like this. You're likely gonna just see a black screen here and lots of different options. Now I'm gonna walk you through what we need to set here to be able to stream to different services. And the first thing that we wanna do is we have a scene set up, so there's a default scene, and then you'll see this screen right here that says sources. Well, we need to add a source. Let's click on the plus button right down here. And then to add a source, what I wanna do is I wanna add Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams is a window, so I'm gonna to go to Window Capture. Let's say that you're running Microsoft Teams in your browser, you could go ahead and add a browser window. But in my case, I have Microsoft Teams running on the desktop app, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on Window Capture. Here it's gonna say Create New, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name it something so I know what this is, and so I'll, I'll call it Teams Window Capture. And now what it'll do is it wants me to select what window I want to capture. And so under this dropdown, I'll see it says window. I could select the window that I wanna capture and then simply go down to the one that says teams.exe. So once I select that, what you'll see is up here above, I can now see my Teams window. And what's interesting is I'm just gonna go ahead now and let's click on okay. I'm back in the main OBS view and here I can see my window that I am going to capture. Now one of the things that I can do is here you see all the different teams Chrome within this window. If I just wanted to proceed with my live stream like this, I could do it and whatever's in the window would be captured. But what I could do, let's say I only want to stream the slide and I don't want the participants, I don't want these different pivots on the side to be visible. What I could do is I'll click on the red box and if I simultaneously press the Alt key and the red box, I can adjust what's going to be captured. And here I could adjust the window so it only shows the slide content in my stream. So that looks good. That's the content that I want to share. And now I need to set up the stream. And the easiest way to set up your stream is to go up to the tools menu, click on that, and then click on Auto Configuration Wizard, and then you have two different options. You could optimize for streaming, or you could optimize just for recording. In this case, we wanna stream content, so I wanna optimize for streaming. And I'll go ahead, let's click on Next. And it asks me for my base resolution. I'm gonna stick with the standard. And then I could, e I could choose my frames per second. I'm just gonna go with, try to prefer 60 frames per second, but if that doesn't work, it'll fall back to 30. Uh, so I want it to look nice and smooth when other people are watching. And then I'm gonna go ahead, let's click on next. 
Here on this next screen, I could choose the service that I want to stream to, and OBS highlights the most popular services. So I see Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, Facebook, Twitter, these different services. Let's say I'm using another streaming service. I could also click on Show All, and that'll show me a comprehensive list of whatever streaming service I want to stream out to. If you're looking, if you're using some obscure streaming service, chances are it's included on here. In this case, I want to live stream out to YouTube, so I'll select YouTube. As a next step, it asks me for a stream key. And so what I wanna do is I don't know what my stream key is, so I could click on this text that says get stream key. You're gonna to need to do this regardless of what streaming service you wanna use. So what will happen next is it opens up a new browser tab and this launches me into YouTube. And I'm gonna to go to the new live control room. This is what YouTube is currently rolling out where you can manage your stream. Once YouTube launches me in the stream view, they want me to give a title to the stream. So I'm gonna Give, go ahead and give it a name. Once I give it a name, I could indicate who it's visible to, so I can make it public where anyone could find it. I can make it unlisted where I need to share the link with others for them to join, or I can make it private. Since this is just a demo, I'm gonna make this private. I could give it a description, and if everything looks good, I could go ahead and click on Create Stream. Once the stream is created, what I could do right here on the screen, I'll see some different stream details, and this is where it says Stream Key. And here, this specific field is the stream key. So I could go ahead, let's copy that. And what I wanna do now is let me go back to OBS and now I'm gonna paste in the stream key. So right in here, the value that I just copied, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in. And then I could also indicate the server. I'm gonna go with the primary YouTube ingest server. I could choose my video bitrate. I'm just gonna leave that where it is. And I'm also gonna select this prefer hardware encoding that was set by default and I'll just leave that as it is, uh, and then click on next. Okay, it looks like it went through and it tested things out and it assigned these different values. So it's gonna be a high quality uh, stream. I could see my output resolution, the frames per second, and this all looks great. So I can now go ahead and apply my settings. And so everything is now set to go. I've entered a stream key, I've set up my stream settings, and now all I need to do is click on start streaming. Okay, so what this has done now is the stream has kicked off. You see that I am now live. I'm seven, eight, nine seconds into my recording and the stream is live. And what I'll do now is let me minimize OBS and here I'm gonna look at YouTube and here I could see that the stream has kicked off. I see a preview of it. And this is my team's content that is now being presented. Now, one of the things I can also do if I go back to OBS, uh, some of the things that I can do is, let's say that I didn't wanna just include this window, maybe I wanna show some text overlays or I wanna show other content as part of the video stream. What I can do is if I click on this plus button here, I could add text, I could add images, I could add other content to sit alongside here. So let me go ahead and I'll add some text. Okay, I typed in my text and then I could place that within the stream window and here I'll place the actual team stream here. And if I go back to YouTube now, there's a slight lag in the content showing up. But here I can see that the content that I put into OBS is now coming through on the stream. All right, so I am now streaming to YouTube. What I can also do, if I wanna to stream to multiple services, what I can do is I could also open up another instance of OBS. And when I do that, it says, hey, OBS is already running and I wanna launch anyway. And what this will do is this will launch yet another instance of OBS. And what I could do here is if I go to file and then I go to settings, I could go to the streaming tab and I could add another streaming service on here. So I could add Facebook Live. I could type in the key for Facebook Live. And just like I kicked off my stream for YouTube, I could kick off a stream for Facebook. So I could stream to multiple services at the same time. Of course, once you start streaming to multiple services, you need to make sure that you've got a lot of bandwidth. You also need to make sure you have some pretty powerful hardware because it's pretty resource intensive to run and manage all of these streams. But I just wanted to show you that it is possible if you wanna stream out to multiple services at the same time. All right, well that was a quick example of how you could simultaneously stream your Teams meeting or your Teams live event to other streaming services, whether it's Facebook, whether it's YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, you name the streaming service, you can simultaneously stream to it. 
If this video helped you learn how you could stream your Microsoft Teams meeting and broadcast it out to other services, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, thanks a lot for tuning in and hope to see you next time. Bye.